In my 30 plus years of ministry, I have seen people, families, friends, torn apart by unforgiveness. I've seen lives destroyed with hate. It is something that is so destructive that it can't be entertained even for a day. It has been said our forgiveness toward others should flow from a realization and appreciation of God's forgiveness towards us. In Luke 11, verse 4, it says, Forgive us our error, as we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. God's power to forgive is infinite, as is God's love. Despite our shortcomings as human beings living in human mind, despite our mistakes, God offers us immediate forgiveness when we ask God. Despite all of our past failures, despite our weakness, God loves us still. Because God has forgiven us, and because God loves in spite of our imperfections and our frailties, we too should be quick following God, to be merciful. As recipients of God's mercy and grace, we should do the same for others. Now, sometimes that's difficult in human mind because human mind holds on to the hurts and they did this to me, thought. And yet, if we're going to truly rise above our human self in our spirituality and follow God, we offer forgiveness to others. God grants us peace and contentment when we do. And God wants us to know that peace again and that contentment. It is really the only way to heal. So when it comes to forgiveness, remember two simple truths. God offers God's forgiveness to us. And second, we should offer that same forgiveness to others. It's that simple. And it's that wonderful when we do.